press the red button to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell icon to get the latest updates from Sonia Goes Natural. Hey friends, welcome to Sonia Goes Natural and now since the festivity is in air, I am presenting to you festival special chum chum. These are instant chum chum made from suji. Look at them, how tempting they are and how quick they are made. You will be surprised to see and they are super soft. If you touch them, they will just break off. So I'm not touching them. <laughs> presenting to you the recipe of this wonderful chum chum. I have put one cup of water into one cup of water. I'm putting three fourth cup of uh, sugar and I let it wait till the time it gets into a one tar chashni as you call putting a little bit of cardamom powder and food color yellowish food color because i'm making yellow color chum chums so that's the very very nice method and very easy method let's get started with this this is one katori of uh, suji or semolina and i'm taking about one and a half cup of milk and with this I'm going to make a fine dough and this is milk powder one teaspoon and this is sugar and this is desiccated coconut so now let's get started with this easy to make recipe so here into this I'm going to dry roast I've put the kadai I'm going to dry roast the semolina or the suji so I am taking the quantity as per this katori you have to just keep a measure of one katori whatever you want to do because accordingly you will have to put milk into that basically the milk which which we are going to put in this will be as per the calculations because we want a soft consistency from this we don't want a hard consistency so milk is done as per the need this fixed quantity will generally help us in giving a very soft dough of the suji so the suji should be very very soft so we have to maintain that thing and for this if we need to put additional milk we can do so so now you can see this is a little bit dried here so i'm going to add a little board a um, little bit of more milk into this and now making it into a softer dough this dough i have taken out in this and i am waiting for it to cool now it has cooled after some time about five to ten minute takes and now i'm going to put in the milk powder one teaspoon of milk powder is going into this and now nicely making a softer thing by kneading it properly the dough has to be kneaded properly so more you knead it more softer it becomes and after kneading it properly with hand it is the same method as chena but more easier version i'm going to put food color i'm trying to divide it into two parts so that the food color can gets mixed properly so this i have taken yellow color egg yellow color of food color i have taken as i love yellow color chum chums you can keep it white or you can take make it yellow so here this one tar ki chashni is there this is warm and now i'm going to smear a little bit of ghee on my hands and again making it more soft and after this i'm going to make long oblong shape chum chums from this so this chum chums are ready in this form and now is my time to put it into this chashni now this chashni is a lukewarm so you want if you want more the sugary syrup to be more penetrating into your chum chums you can boil it with this one tar ki chashni normally people boil it but i prefer lesser side of the sugar so i'm just keep going to keep it in this for about half an hour till the time it absorbs the sugar syrup as now you see it has absorbed the sugar syrup it has become a little bit of that plumpy and now i'm going to i'm coating it with desiccated coconut 
to for the final look of the chum chums so that sugar syrup if you want it to be more sugary you can always boil it once with that one tarki chashni so now this desiccated coconut is giving the final look to my chum chum and believe me it's these chum chums i have turned out to be so soft they can just break and so you have to handle it very very so softly and this is the icing of the cake i'm just putting in a little bit of tutti frutti on this and look at the final look of this chum chum it is really very very tempting and it is just made in flat 5 minutes and very very soft so whenever your guests come present them with this lovely nice and tempting chum chums do try this festival season and make your guests happy with this tempting recipe till we meet next time if you've liked it please like share and subscribe to my channel sonia goes natural bye bye